I mentioned a couple videos ago that one of the goals for myself in 2021 was to learn how to take a vacation. I know that's stupid, but I really need to learn how to take a vacation. I suck at it. Um, I, I go to the computer Olympiad conferences, and even when I do try to relax, I end up um, staying in the room writing computer games or doing all sorts of technical stuff, right? Uh, mingling with others at the conferences or anything but relax, right? Um, I don't sleep very well when I go on vacation either. But I think I'm a step closer than I was last year because I used to have another thing that would ruin my vacations, which was my food addiction. I would get to uh, Taiwan or uh, Poland and there's a lot of foods there that I like that uh, are not uh, nearly as readily available here in the States. And that would be a big chunk of my vacation was how do I eat, when do I eat. One time, believe it or not, th to give you an idea of how crazy I was for this, um, when I was in Taiwan, I felt like I couldn't get hungry fast enough. I would finish one meal and, and I, I, I went to Google, like, how do I get hungry faster? I literally Googled that at one point. It's in my search history, so I know I Googled it. And I know that I did it when I was on vacation. And um, that's how crazy uh, things were. Um, but now that I've uh, corrected that habit, I hope to be able to enjoy my vacations a little bit more for what they are. Um, one, one of my big goals in 2021, as soon as it is safe to do so, I want to get on the first flight to Las Vegas because that's where everybody seems to want to go on vacation. And I want to learn how to take it easy and relax when I do go to Las Vegas and um, be able to enjoy a vacation for what it is. Um, I want to talk about a previous vacations where things have been really ruined by how I handled them. Obviously, I talked about literally, literally Googling how do I get hungry faster. I couldn't wait. Uh, obviously, I was only in Taiwan for two weeks and it just couldn't, my meals couldn't come fast enough. Um, or the other extreme is um, I'll be in Taiwan, I'll crave something back home in the United States. One time I went looking for baking chocolate. You gotta understand, I don't read Chinese characters very well. Also, it's not very easy for me to order something online when I go to Taiwan. I actually read about how to do that in Taiwan because I may have to quarantine when I go there. So, not very easy for me to uh, order stuff online. And if I'm craving something that's back home, that's when I run into serious trouble. Um, another problem that I run into, uh, well, not so much in Taiwan, but when I was in Poland was, I don't speak Polish, so I have language barriers. One of the big frustrations I run into with language barriers is that I'm traveling and, um, well, obviously my food, right? That's not so bad. Usually you can uh, Google the restaurants online and um, you can type your uh, restrictions into Google Translate and show the waiter. That's usually not so bad. Uh, what I really despise is I see a girl I like there and I don't speak her language. And so uh, that used to bother me a lot. But now that I've really enjoyed my time alone and I don't want to get involved in another girl, uh, I, I, I probably don't have that bother, bother anymore when I go back to Poland or to Japan. And so I can really enjoy. Because those two things used to bother me a lot. The girls and the food. And they, I would say 80% of my vacation was consumed by that. Uh, now I can actually go swimming in the Gdansk Bay. Um, I'm thinking about, uh, well, obviously this might be a while before they reopen, but in Tokyo there's this um, Sega arcades. Uh, I, I grew up with the Sega Genesis. Uh, I want, I've been wanting to go there forever, but every time I go to Japan the schedule never seems to work out. What else have I been thinking of? Uh, Mount Fuji, and there's a theme park there, although I don't know if it's going to reopen anytime soon. Uh, I only went there one time. Oh, this was, well, seven years ago now. Um, what else? Uh, and I used to, used to be tremendously bothered by stuff like that. Um, I would, uh, I would get upset arguing about politics with people on the plane, at the destination. 
Uh, I still do. I, I get very upset when people don't think that single lives matter. When they think that uh, it's okay to discriminate against singles at the workplace, in public. You know, um, I was on a flight one time when uh, my seat got changed because his family wanted to sit together. And uh, I half jokingly actually said to the flight attendant, because as, as I was changing my seat again, the flight attendant got upset. Uh, because they were getting ready to take off and now they were kind of delayed by me. And I said, well, you changed for this family. Why is it not important for a single person who wants a seat? Like, why does it matter why somebody wants a seat? Because of a family matter. And the flight attendant didn't have a good answer for me. And she just got even more upset by that. And that bothered me a lot. I mean, it's not so much that she didn't allow me to change seats that bothered me. It's the attitude that she doesn't even have a good answer for why a family matters more than a single guy. But she still think, thinks that they do. And that bothered me a lot. Uh, I, I need to put my politics aside when I go on vacation. Anyway, uh, the, the, the food, uh, the, the trying to hit on the girls and the politics. Of, I, I want to be able to uh, relax that away uh, when I go on vacation. Oh, and um, to be able to actually go have fun and not go to a conference or not go to, uh, uh, to, to, to put my uh, the, uh, the research aside when I go on vacation. Thanks for watching.